Hello students, in this video we'll consider Chebyshev polynomials of the second kind. We're going to consider the ratio sine of n plus 1 theta over sine of theta. And we claim, here's our claim, that this is some function un of cosine theta, where un is a polynomial of degree n. So un here is a polynomial of degree n. And this polynomial of degree n is called the Chebyshev polynomial of the second kind. So the Chebyshev polynomial of the second kind. Okay. We're going to need both the Chebyshev polynomials and approximation theory. Good. All right. So now here's the idea. So let's do some simple examples of this. This is how it works, right? So when n is equal to 0, what do we get? Well, we get the sine of theta over theta. So in other words, we just get this expression here is 1. So we get 1 is equal to un of cosine theta, u0 of cosine theta. And of course, that's just going to be identical to the 1. So that says that u0 of x is equal to 1. Okay? When n is equal to 1, what do we have? Well, over here, we have the sine of 2 theta, so that's going to be 2 sine theta cosine theta over sine theta. The sines cancel out, and so this just gives us cosine of theta, and that tells us that u1 of x is just equal to x. All right, let's do one more example that will prove the rest by induction, okay? Excellent. So we have n equals 2, right? Then we have the sine of 3 theta, right? So we have the sine of 3 theta on top. And so the sine of 3 theta is going to be the sine of 2 theta plus theta, right? So sine of 2 theta plus theta over the sine of theta. Let's use the double angle formula now. So the double angle formula tells us, or the angle addition formula, this is going to be the sine of 2 theta times the cosine of theta, and then plus the cosine of 2 theta times the sine of theta. all over the sine of theta, okay? Now, from before, the sine of 2 theta is going to be 2 sine theta cosine theta. So this first term over here is exactly going to be what? It's exactly going to be 2 times the sine theta cancel out times cosine squared, cosine squared of theta, like that. And now the cosine of 2 theta of is, is, of course, cosine uh, 2 cosine squared minus 1, right? So this thing over here is 2 cosine squared of theta minus 1. The sines cancel out, so I get another plus 2 cosine cosine squared of theta minus 1. So I have 4 cosine squared of theta minus 1. And so that implies that u2 of x is going to be 4x squared minus 1. Okay? Excellent. And so now the rest follows by induction, right? So if I can induct on this, what can we get? So suppose it's true, suppose we've, we've shown it, of course, for the base case, these are polynomials of degree 0, polynomial of degree 1, polynomial of degree 2, so we have the base case of induction satisfied. So now if I look at the sine of n plus 2, that would correspond to an n plus 1 in there, of theta over the sine of theta, this is going to be what? It's going to be the sine of n plus 1 theta, sine of n plus 1 theta cosine of theta over the sine of theta. And then plus the cosine of n plus 1 theta, the sine of theta over the sine of theta. And so what we have over here is we have, by induction, that is un of cosine theta. So that's un of cosine theta, which by assumption is a polynomial degree n by the induction hypothesis, right, times cosine theta, of course, right? And then, um, so this is a polynomial degree n. That's a polynomial of degree 1 in cosine, so that's a polynomial of degree n plus 1. Good. And what happens over here? The signs are going to cancel out, and then you get Tn. I get the Chebyshev polynomial of the first kind, Tn plus 1 of cosine theta. And by, we know the Chebyshev polynomial of degree n plus 1 is also a polynomial of degree n plus 1. Good. Okay? So in other words, this is a polynomial of degree n plus 1, and we have the induction, right? So these are indeed polynomials of degree, uh, polynomials of degree n by induction, so we've just proven that. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to use a trigonometric identity to get some information out of this. So let's recall that the sine of alpha plus the cosine of beta, and if you don't recall this, I'll link to a trig video for you all, is going to be what? It's going to be 2 sine of alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta over 2, the cosine of alpha minus beta 
over two, right? That's the, pro the sum to product formula, right? So in particular, what this tells me is this tells me that the sine of n plus one theta minus the sine of n minus one theta, like that, is gonna be what? Um, is gonna be two. And if I add these things together over here, I'm going to have the, I'm have the sine of two n, right? over two, which is just gonna be n, so that's gonna be the sine of n theta, sine of n theta. And then, I'm gonna have the cosine of n minus n, and then one minus negative one is a two, so that's just the cosine of theta, cosine of theta, excellent. And now if I divide this entire expression by sine, what am I gonna get? Divide this by sine, theta, this by sine theta, and this by sine theta. What are we gonna have? Well, we're going to have a recursion relationship for these Chebyshev polynomials of the second kind, right? From this, we're able to determine that un plus 1, or this is going to be un over here, actually, right? So un, un, un of x, that's un of x, right? Of course, so I'm just replacing uh, theta with cosine theta, right? un of x, and then that's going to be minus un minus 2, so minus un minus 2 of x. And then the, this thing over here is going to be a 2, and then a u n minus 1 of x times x itself. So in other words, we have, I'm just going to shift the indices over. That's true for any n, so this tells me that u, in a more standard form, u n plus 1 minus um, is equal to, of x, is going to be equal to this recursion over here. It's going to be 2x, 2x, u um, n of x times x, we got the x, and then plus u um, n minus one of x, like so. Okay, great. All right, and so that's our recursion relationship. Okay, and now we just need one more uh, result over here, right? Uh, and I did, actually, so I, that's my error over here. So in other words, I made one sort of goof. So this should be a plus, not a minus. That's going to be a plus. I'm like, this does not quite work with my formula. So that's going to turn into a plus over here. And then we're going to update this. This formula is going to be a minus. Because I was looking at our formula over here. And now let's see if it makes sense over here. So let's take a look. So if we look at our formula, what can we say about in particular when I plug in, uh, like we have a 1 and an x over here. And I missed the 2 as well. So there's one sort of glitch up here. So what do I have? I have one sort of glitch. And so this sine of two, the sine cancel, I get two cosine theta, and there should be a two x over here. So my apologies for that, because the, the coefficients have to be correct. So go back in your notes and fix that, my apologies. Okay, and so how can, now let's, let's verify, I, for, I forgot that too. So now let's see what happens over here. So if I, if I plug in this formula, this recursion over here for this relationship, I'll get that what? I'll get that u2 is gonna be two x times two x, which is four x squared, and then minus one. So our recursion relationship works in these base cases too. So this recursion relationship over here uniquely define, uniquely determines these Chebyshev polynomials of the second kind. Okay, excellent. All right, and so now the last thing I wanna prove is the following. I wanna prove this fact. So I wanna prove that if n is not equal to m, and I, if I integrate from negative one to one, u n of x, u m of x times the square root of one minus x squared dx, I claim that we're gonna get zero, okay? And so the idea is that I consider this integral over here, if we make a substitution, if we let x be cosine of theta, right? Then what will dx be? Then dx is gonna be negative sine theta d theta, like that, okay? And one minus x squared square root is also gonna be sine theta, right? So what will this turn into if I make this substitution? Well, now we're gonna error from what? When x is equal to negative one, that says that the cosine is gonna be equal to pi. When x is equal to zero, when x is equal to one, that says the cosine is equal to zero. Then we're going to have un of cosine of x, which is sine n, sine n plus one of theta over what? Over the sine of theta times what? Times the sine of m plus one theta over the sine of theta, like that, great. And then this thing over here, as we allude to, turns into a sine, sine theta, and then a negative sine theta d theta. 
So all the signs in the denominator cancel out, and I can take this negative sign, turn it into a positive sign, and then flip the limits of integration. So this will turn into a pi, this will turn into a zero over there. And so now I'm integrating from zero to pi, the sine of n plus one theta times the sine of n plus one theta when n and n are not equal to each other. And of course that gives us zero by the orthogonality relationships we derived from Fourier series in previous videos. So we've just proven that these Chebyshev polynomials of the second kind are perpendicular or orthogonal with respect to the weight one minus x squared square rooted. And so we can use this relationship over here to derive a differential equation for these Chebyshev polynomials or this recursion to generate the uh, generating function relationships. There's lots of other approaches we can take to understanding these Chebyshev polynomials of the second kind and also the relation to Chebyshev polynomials of the first kind. Thank you very much.